Hello and welcome back again to another video tutorial. It's me, again, as always, <laughs> Titan. And this video is going to be about H5P activity or resource entitled Column. Let's jump right in. Go to the course where you are going to insert that h5p activity don't forget to turn editing on as always and go to the section or area where you are going to insert that activity click add an activity or resource go to activities then choose h5p fill out all the necessary details before you move along to the editing of this type. This is again optional and all the other options here. So this will depend whether you are going to compile different types of content which are graded. Like for example, multiple choice, fill in the blanks, flashcards, and all the other activities which require grades. But let's say if you are going only to use audio or collage, virtual tour, and the likes. Therefore, grades should be turned off. And in this case, I'm going to use a grading system. That means I will be inserting different types of activities. And later, we are going to find out what they are. So point system, I'm going to keep it to a minimum of five only. And I want the passing grade to be the perfect score. <laughs> attempt options, as always, I choose the first attempt. Common module settings, as it is, and restrict access, as it is. Um, the, the activity completion, I always set it to show activity as complete when conditions are met. And that condition, particularly, is when the students have received a grade. There, tags, and let's go back up. Click on opens a new window. Now you are here in the content bank. Let's look for the column. Click on that. And as you can see here, you are now ready to create your file. So we have here the title. I'm thinking of something simple. So let's put the English alphabet. So what type of content do I want to insert in here? Let's first try audio recorder. And the, the title is hmm, So let's add another content, which is, hmm, let me try. Hmm. 
Let's try guess the answer. Okay, definitely. I will try to use an image. I um, guess the answer is pretty basic. All you need to do is present a, a video, a text, an image, and then from that information you have shown, the students will have to guess what the correct answer is or what you are trying to ask, right? And I'm just going in a simple way. I'm just going to do this simply. So the task description is... Mm -hmm. Hmm, identify the objects in the image. Okay, so that's the task. Let's see an image. So I want to keep it as simple, but you get the idea of the column activity, right? So this is a compilation of different types of activity in one file and the orientation is in column. Right, so let me try all. Okay, all. Hmm. Okay, let's try this one. Make sure to input the alternative text. Uh, descriptive solution label. Okay, click to see the answer. And of course, it is an apple. It is an apple. Okay, let's add. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is an image. Okay, and let's add another content. I want the other content to be Let's try mm, I want it to be uh, this one. Mark the words. All right, let's show the instructions. Okay. All right, so mark the words. What is the title? Just as it is, mark the words and the task description. Beginning with the fifteen okay, beginning with the fifteenth letter of the alphabet. Okay, so try to make it as challenging as possible. My instruction is mark all the words beginning with the fifteenth letter of the alphabet. So you're going to have them to think what is the fifteenth letter of the alphabet. So let's try to make it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let me try.
there. The octopus is under the shark. It's waiting to be attacked. So let's say, for example, that that is the one. So following the instructions should be marked like this. Let's put asterisk before and after the word. There you go. And once everything is done, you have um, tried to input all the activities you want to be compiled in this particular content. And now you are ready to set the overall feedback if you would have the feedback but this is again something optional i'm just showing you let's say for me the passing score is 75 percent oh sorry 76 so 76 and above is considered awesome or because you have passed it but when you get 75 and below that means that no you will have to try again. All right. And once you have set everything up, okay, and all of these, you can now save it. Let's see the preview. Okay, let us see what is the end result. So here we have one, two, and three. Okay. Sing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oops, enough of that. <laughs> and identify the object should be just object in the image. Ta-da! It is an apple. Mark the words. Awesome. Okay, all done. So close. If you're satisfied with it, you can now put it in your course. Remember the title? That's the English alphabet, right? So let's go back to the course itself. And we are now ready to put it inside the course. The English alphabet is the title. Select this file and save and display. Here we go. There, this is what we call column. It is pretty simple. If you were thinking of, let's say, putting different types of activities in just one particular activity, then you can use this one. It saves you space and also it is a good way to organize your data. And so that's it. I hope you find this useful. I'm going to see you again in the next one. All right. Cheerios.